Hi, welcome to this video, and um, today we're talking about um, a score on eBay. It's a Miller uh, video head, um, ball head, um, for a, it's a video head. So here's part of it. Um, you can see I, it's taken apart. You can see it. It's just the inside of it. That's the inside of it. So yeah, that's the um, um, that's the Miller um, video uh, uh, video head for um, a video camera. You sit a video camera on top of it when it's all together, so you can see the pieces. That piece goes on like that. Well, not there, but you get the idea. And. Um, so yeah, that piece goes on like that, and then the clamp goes on top. Oops. And then that goes on top like so. And then you put your camera on top of there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what it looks like inside. So I've been working on this for a little while, and I got it on eBay for around $100. Um, so this is the part right here, and um, this is um, this is like an, a 75 millimeter ball head adapter that I got on eBay as well. So that you can just put it on a regular tripod that doesn't have a ball head, and um, and then you can put a 75 millimeter ball um, a video head like the Miller that I got. So there it is. That's what it looks like. And um, so then you sit it in there and then it, you clamp it so you get it to be level, like level, and then you clamp it on the bottom here. And um, so I've been able to take it apart. You can see that I take it apart right here. So that's what it looks like inside. Um, I'm trying to figure out what model it is. I think it's the DS20. Yeah, I think it's the DS20. This is the Miller DS20. So anyways, um, I'll show you, I'll try to go through the parts of, of it, like as well. So you, oops, I just dropped the copper. So you've got um, your bearings in there, and then you've got a bunch of co uh, copper space. They look like they're copper or brass spacers. And then you got your uh, brake plate. This is a plate that's used for breaking it, for like you know locking it. And you got your lock knob, and uh, then you got uh, this is the other side. This is the other side of it, and um, uh, I've looked at the um, exploded diagrams, the parts diagrams of the DS10 and the DS20. I've actually looked at a couple of the Millers um, that you can see their uh, diagrams, and um, so this here is a clutch plate right here. This is what this thing is: is a clutch plate. So um, how the how the ball how the head works is that um, when you put it all together, then this is the final bolt, and when you bolt it together, everything is like there's um you can see the uh, there's the like uh, shaft or whatever or the axle or whatever, and the axle goes right through everything, and then it's uh, the axles fastened to one end, and then when you clamp everything together with this final nut um, bolt, then it, it kind of like, um, it pushes everything together and then there'll be friction on this uh, internal part of the, um, this, this internal disc, well, there'll be compression on this internal disc and the disc will rotate inside, inside here. And I guess there's grease inside here and um, and that'll cause the uh, 
the movement. So you get that nice flu fluid movement. And that's what this is for. This part here helps with the fluid movement. And um, so that's how it works. And uh, so um, on the model DS10, it only has the clutch plate. It doesn't have the, this is, um, I think this is uh, sort of what um, Miller uses. And this is kind of like, um, um, uh, the, this white part stuff here is silicone. And um, I don't know if like, if the original one is silicone or not. But there's basically in the DS10, there's not this, uh, this wheel of silicone is not in the DS10. It's only in the DS20 and some other models. Um, and I'm not going to say if it, it's, it's like silicone. I don't know if it is silicone. Um, the original one, this is the original material that was in there. Um, and it feels like silicone, but there's different types of silicone. Like there's molding silicone I've, as well. And, but to me, it looks just like silicone. So, um, basically what I did is there's two metal pieces here, the internal metal piece and the external metal piece. And, um, and then you can see there's holes, one, two, three, four holes. And there's pins that hold this. Right now, this is being held into this frame by the two pins. There's a pin here and a pin here. And so this is actually free right now. Or it's the other way around. Let me see. Oh, yeah, exactly. So there's two pins in here. And then this is free. So um, the way it works is that... Um, this is mounted to one side and then or this is mounted to you can see there's pinholes where's the other pinholes um uh, let's see so yeah there's pinholes in here as well so there's pinholes in here there's uh pinholes no this isn't the right one Uh, where do the pinholes go? So yeah, there's external and internal pinholes. So you can mount... Uh, let's see. Not that one. Sorry about this. I'm not really that organized here. Oh yeah, here's the internal pinholes. So if I take these um, um, brass or copper washers out of here, you'll see the, the internal pinholes. Or they're not put, called pinholes, they're basically for, um, not pins, but, uh, yeah, like they're like pins. They're basically fastening pins. So if you look at here, there's two fastening pinholes. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a pinhole right there and a pinhole on the other side, one there and one there. So when you put it all together like that, when you put it all together, um, When you put it together, um, these two pinholes uh, can go, can fasten to the silicone, the internal silicone, uh, and then, and then on the other side, you can do it the same thing. So when I originally got it, um, and also there's um, a drag. And the drag uh, goes against the edge of the wheel. That's where the drag goes to the edge of the wheel, right there. So there's a drag button that uh, pushes uh, towards the edge of that 
right there. There's the drag right here. And when you turn this drag, it, uh, it presses against the, um, the edge of this. It puts pressure on the edge of this wheel. And then I guess that transfers to the silicone and it sort of provides damping. And then this one's held in place. So anyways, that's how it works uh, basically. And um, I got it used on, uh, on uh, eBay for $90. And uh, the silicone was kind of crumbling out. So I kind of redid it with the, uh, I've redone it with silicone. And um, I let it cure. I let it dry for like, it smells like vinegar when it's curing. And um, so it'll take, you know, it says uh, silicone cures in 24 hours, but um, it's quite a thick amount of silicone. It's maybe like half an inch of silicone. And so what I found was is that it'll cure on the outside where it's exposed to like oxygen. It'll cure, but the internal will be still not cured. So you really have to leave it for like four days to cure. And it was really difficult to clean out all of the silicone in here. So I just had two rings. So I had to clean out all of the silicone, um, the old silicone out with uh, with a knife and with a, um, a wire brush. And there's also fine grooves in here, I guess, for the silicone to hold on to um, on, this out, on the outside of this internal ring. So anyways, that's um, uh, a little note on this uh, internals of uh, if anybody's never seen the inside of a, like a fluid ball head, like because um, I haven't seen any videos where anybody actually took one of these apart. So this is a Miller and they're quite pricey. They're $500 US and up expensive wise. And um, so anyways, that's what, what it looks like inside. Um, I have to say that the quality of the paint is really amazing on these uh, Miller. It's a really high high grade finish. Um, it's a really high grade finish on this uh, on um, on these uh, professional. I would say this is like a professional level um, tripod head. So yeah, the finish is quite a quite and they're quite heavy it's not a light uh this is like a professional level like video tripod head and it's quite heavy um i was not able to get the uh, lower portion uh to come apart so i wasn't able to figure out how to get it apart so only the top part but it seems like the uh, bottom part's functioning pretty good so anyways um I was able to get it together and I was able to get the um, the clutch to work nicely so that you got some nice fluid motion with the head and like I said the DS10 doesn't even have this uh, silicone stuff so um, the uh, so I guess in the worst case scenario it'll just if I can't get the this to work as it's supposed to work then I'll just have it working like a DS10 with just the clutch because that's what the, some of them have on Miller. They just have this clutch plate inside when you look at the inside of the diagram. And some of the bigger ones have like two of these clutch plates or three of these clutch plates. So anyways, um, that was my score. Um, and uh, so I got this... Um, this to hold it in and I still have to get a few parts like it does I don't even have the um, the video arm to it was really a bare bones head so it doesn't even have the plate I, I'm missing the plate I need to get a video plate um, I need to get the um, the lock to lock it in place and um, and I also need to get the the uh, movement arm so that you can like you know rotating arm so, but anyways, it's basically the guts of the thing is there, like a, the basically the thing without the accessories. Um, so yeah, that's what a inside of a Miller um, video head looks like, and it's probably a lot of video heads 
as well are similar inside. So just anyways, um, if you've always been curious as to knowing how that works, um, that's a little bit of how it works. Thanks for watching.